welcome and thank you for spending some of your time with us. My name is Tina Rosenquist and this is Knowledge for Wellness. And this show is to enhance your overall understanding of information provided to you. Because when you know more, you are empowered to make better decisions, to enhance yourself and your loved ones for a better quality of life. And today I am delighted to present Jay Schroeder, the president of ARP Wave, located in Apple Valley, Minnesota, and also the founder of Evo Sports, which created the training protocols for elite athletes' performances. Welcome, Jay. Thank you, Tina. So Good delighted. To see you. Oh, so nice to see you again. Yeah. Now, you just finished doing a video, and so we want to introduce, of course, Anthony. Anthony, nice to meet you. You too. And Alexandra. Nice to meet you also known as Z. Okay, so tell us a little bit about this video that you created about training and exercises. Well, it's basically designed to go with our ARP Neurological Rehabilitative Strength System. Okay. We have to have some way of allowing people to follow up after they get the results following the basic program. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, we have to have something that's simple for them to follow. Yes. And will also be effective. Yes. So we created the program for them to uh, enjoy. <laughs> okay, and of course, we had Anthony and Alexandra. You were the models in this. So tell us a little bit about yourselves as well. And we'll start with you, Anthony. Um, well, I started working for ARP Wave actually June of last year. Okay. Um, I've been the sales manager there for about six months and I came in with a, a back injury. Uh, it's it's helped it's helped a lot. I use the ARP daily um, mm -hmm. and on the weekends as well. I'm a competitive softball player. I've grown up playing baseball all my life and kind of had to give that up with my back injury. So I went to competitive softball and I uh, use it every weekend with softball now. Okay, and that helps you in that sport. Then. Oh, I mean I. If I have, if I pull my hamstring, I'll go straight to the ARP when I get home from a tournament or after a game even. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, welcome to Knowledge for Wellness. Thank you. Yes. And Alexandra, we'd like to learn a little bit about you as well. I understand that you play hockey? Yes, I did. I played, I played hockey in college and played for the University of Minnesota. And um, right now I work for FIT in the Minnesota Advancement Program. It's a hockey training school in Blaine, Minnesota. And okay. we were looking for um, a means to enhance our human performance and athletic development for our athletes. And after looking around, we came across Evo Sport Ultra Fit and um, talked to Jay and started training our athletes with those protocols. And they really are tremendously helping our athletes and they helped me as well. Okay. I'm in college. I um, suffered from a handful of injuries, an ACL injury, MCL, a couple shoulder things and things like that and had an ACL surgery and wasn't recovering very well from it because I really wasn't aware on how to use my body the way it was supposed to be used and since we s started working with Evo Sport, um, I was really learning you know what muscles are used in different areas. So when I go in to perform a skill such as playing hockey or even training in the weight room, I, I'm aware of what's supposed to be going on and my, my brain's now aware of what's supposed to be going on. And so, well, it's getting there anyway. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I, yeah, I'm really, really thankful that it's, um, I'm able to work with this now. It's wow. really great. Yeah. So it sounds as if it has actually enhanced your life and your training and your abilities as absolutely, well. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, I would go into the weight room uh, to train and I'd come out and I'd, you know, I'd feel really sore in my knees or my low back or something if we were doing lower body or even upper body. And um, I didn't realize I was doing it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. um, and now, you know, they're very, it's very technical on how to use your body the right way. And um, I, I can train and everything like that and I don't come out sore. I'm not mm -hmm. sore during the exercise. And if I am, I know I did it wrong. Right. And I can realize why. Okay. So that's really a great thing. So Yes. And if we're going to take the time to exercise, why not do it right the first time? Yes. <laughs> you think so, huh? Yes, you would hope so, yes. yes. 
if you're going to accelerate your heart rate and breathe hard, you might as well get something out of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's why we go yeah. to exercise. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I would love to learn how to do it correctly for all modalities, <clears throat> the strength in, in as well. Yeah. Yes. It's important for everyone. Very. And speaking of everyone, I basically want to talk about, you know, what these exercises are designed for from anyone from, let's say, seven years old to 95 years old that you you brought into knowing about this? Yeah, the exercise movements can be used for anyone. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what your sport is, it doesn't matter what activities you do, it doesn't matter your age, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter the condition you're in. Exercise is to stimulate information to be sent to your brain so your brain then can make a decision on how to move your body. Okay. And we're born with certain ways of doing this mm -hmm. but as we get older we're a lot smarter than our creator sometimes uh -huh. and we change those things and we end up with problems yes so this is just a nice simple easy way to take you back to where you were when you were a newborn so let's talk about the process of designing these exercises that you of course created and also the founder and owner of evil sports and let's talk a little bit about how this came about for you the developing of the exercises well Actually, I was just planning on going to the NFL right out of college, you know, like anyone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was my uh, original goal. Okay. Just, I went to school to play football oh. and to move on. Unfortunately, oh. I had a little accident along the way, a mm. um, little paralysis, oh. and it kind of, you know, uh, beat me over the head mm. yeah, and said, you're really probably not going to make it to the NFL. You're not good enough. <laughs> oh, no. Um, okay. So I had to take care of myself. And what I found and learned by taking care of myself and reading all the books, that's really all I could do, mm -hmm. um, was lie in bed and read. Oh. Um, I was paralyzed from nipples down. Oh, my. And I had pointers above me, and I'd read books. And I ended up having to read the same books many, many, many times over, and they were Russian training journals. Oh. And yeah. so I decided eventually that um, I'm going to do these in my brain, mm. see what happens. Mm -hmm. I became stronger and fitter than I ever was before. Oh. Uh, within a year and a half, I was you know, up and walking. Mm -hmm. I ended up uh, playing football again after that, uh, power lifting, uh, racing velodrome bicycles, all kinds of things and said, huh, if they could do this for me, I wonder what it can do for the average regular person. Sure, that so. has the, the use of both its legs. Exactly. It? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That is amazing. Now you have your practice evil sports and that's in arizona and you come back to minnesota and you work collaboratively with the arp wave with dennis thompson and so tell us a little bit um on that and about why your practice is unique and how you brought that forth with the arp wave as well well i met dennis uh, about 16 years ago mm -hmm. he saw me on espn working with some nfl football players and using an electrical modality that shouldn't have been able to be used the way it was oh okay but out of necessity i found a way to make it work mm -hmm. and he called me we had i don't know four or five conversations one of them turned into 12 hours long oh my yeah okay. my wife was wondering if uh i was having an affair on the phone <laughs> <laughs> and i told her it was the same guy i started with the night before okay so, yes okay so we decided that we should talk a little more in depth in person. Okay. So um, Dennis came to Arizona and uh, we met. He told me what he did and how he did it and mm -hmm. where the downfall was of the system he had. Okay. I explained to him the upside and the downside of mine and what we found out was is I needed what he did, he needed what I did. Oh. And we decided to then form a company which is ARP Wave. Mm -hmm. And I used to travel back and forth. Now I have a home up here and okay. you know, um, work closely with Dennis in creating protocols and developing things for all kinds of people. Okay, and these two you actually worked with too um, with the protocols as well? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Anthony was saying before, he uses protocols when he does his uh, softball tournaments and or practices mm -hmm. uh, to prepare and recover afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, Z, I met Z um, at one of the presentations I gave at Fit Hockey. Okay. And she is the head of the trainers up in uh, Blaine at okay. the facility. Mm -hmm. And we kind of hit it off. She wanted to learn more about what was going on and one thing led to another and we've struck up a relationship here with uh, how to get people in shape and powerful and fast and everything they want to be. Okay, so, so you look at each person individually and you see what strengths they need so each one is unique and what part of their body they need um, actually strengthening with. Yeah, 
in reality, what we do, we don't train for strength. We mm -hmm. don't train for speed. We don't train for any of those things. What we do is we put the human body in a position where it can display those. Okay. We're already capable of it. We just don't know the commands. So it's kind of just like a computer. Okay. We enter into the computer what we need to do, and then we get the desired end. Okay, good. And so with these two, that's exactly what you did. You determined what area they needed for their strength. Yeah, we yeah. use the art modality to search and destroy, mm -hmm. find any electrical disconnects, the reason okay. that things weren't able to work the way they're supposed right. to. Right, and everyone goes through that. Absolutely, mm -hmm. that's absolutely. The first thing that yeah, it, it has to be the first thing. Right. Otherwise, you can't make anything predictable. Mm -hmm. You might get a good result in this week with Anthony, and then two weeks later, nothing good is happening, and Z may go along well for three or four weeks, and then something bad happens. Uh -huh. We want to make things predictable. Sure. So we, we bring to the forefront anything that's not happening appropriately. Mm -hmm. We remedy that, and then we move on. Okay. Well, now in your situation, I know a lot of people come in with pain, high levels of pain, and, but you work with elite athletes, so they're already in really good shape. <laughs> okay, I guess. Well, we think they are because they're playing the yeah, sport. Yeah, we think they are because they're playing a sport. Mm -hmm. In reality, I mean, a football player is like going through, what, 15 or 20 train wrecks every game? Oh, sure. It's sure. difficult to remain in shape. Um, Dennis and I are working closely with um, some uh, hockey players, mm -hmm. and the same thing. I mean, they get run into the boards on a regular basis, and you can be whatever you want, a workout warrior, but when you get run into the boards by somebody twice your size or mm -hmm. two people, sure. you're gonna have problems. Yes, very much so. <laughs> so we monitor and we manage those things so that they can keep working efficiently. Okay. And it's all so, done with the ARP. Right, and so, so you always want them to keep in their, their high level. It's until they do get hit by the boards a few times and then they have to go through some sessions with you. Well, actually what we try and do is we try and maintain a maintain a baseline okay. that is their high level. Oh, good. Okay, we're okay. on the phone with them, we text mm -hmm. with them, we email between periods, uh, before the flight to the next city, okay. uh, when they enter the next city, whatever it may be, mm -hmm. they give us information and then we manage their, their training and their performance. Okay, so if they're gonna have a game the next day, then you have them do certain protocols the night before and stuff. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Yeah. So let's say an, um, an athlete was going to be performing, but uh, he had gotten a little hurt or mm -hmm. somewhat. So how long would that, would they work with you on that before they could actually go back and Well, play? sometimes we have to have them ready the next morning. Yes. Okay. okay. Well, there are accelerated ways of using the ARP protocols mm -hmm. in order okay. to do that. Dennis will execute his magic with the ARP mm -hmm. and getting them ready to perform. Mm -hmm. I then make sure they can support that performance energetically, endocrinologically, um, emotionally even, because once you're hurt, sometimes it's difficult. Mm -hmm. So he gets them in a position where they can. I get them in a position where they're willing to do it. Okay. And when they're doing something that that well, then you can keep them at that performance. Because I know Dennis works with them. He does 10 treatments mm -hmm. that we discussed. And you can sometimes do two of those in a day when people come over from Europe. Mm -hmm. And then they can be done in five days. Absolutely. So, yes. Absolutely. Sometimes we do it in two days. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can accelerate it. Um, you know, again, athletes, they tend to eat better than mm. the regular person. Okay. Okay. So we can sometimes accelerate, you know, the twice a day up to two, three, four times. You know. Yeah. So. so we're talking athletes. Are you talking NFL? You're talking, you know, any type of athlete? What specific? Uh, just it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. matter. We okay. work with um, elite soccer players in Europe, swimmers, okay. volleyball, NFL, Major League Baseball, NBA, NHL. Um, college, high school, um, we have motorcycle racers, dirt bike racers, um, airplane racers, mm -hmm. um, equestrian. Oh. Yeah, it, it's everything. You see, mm -hmm. anybody who has to move efficiently yes. without pain or discomfort, mm -hmm. yeah, we're the guys you want to talk to. Exactly. Yeah. And a great way to introduce this, too, for instance, with when Sh Z came on, you know, when you were collaboratively with her. Mm -hmm. and. Have you seen a great improvement with your girls on uh, the ice? On the ice, yeah. Um, hockey's a little, you know, they can be all over the place sometimes, but mm -hmm. um, they're learning to use their body the right way all the time instead of kind of turn their muscles off and sit around and everything so they can jump on the ice without warming up and just go. Oh, okay. And, um, That's very good. 
Yeah, and off ice, you know, a lot of them couldn't really control positions, just simple body positions, and now they can really control it and they can maintain it without, you know, getting really tired or fatiguing fast. Their, their body's learning, and they're able to um, exhibit that on the ice as well. So that's a really good thing. Yes. That's good to hear. Now I want to kind of back up a little bit because, you know, being preventative, that's what the show is about, mm -hmm. and giving people knowledge. Now with the ARP wave and using this with you, it can also break down some of our health care costs as oh, well. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. If muscles function appropriately, mm -hmm. they stimulate organs to function more efficiently. Mm -hmm. When organs function more efficiently, mm -hmm. well, then we can fight disease and illness and fatigue and all of the things that we end up having to go to medical professionals for. Sure. Okay. So it's simply movement. You know, we like to say movement is the fountain of youth. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It really is. Uh, we were designed to move. Mm -hmm. And if we can keep you moving, oh, you know, just like Z was talking about with the hockey girls. Mm -hmm. If they know that they can move at a higher rate of velocity, mm -hmm. a longer period of time or more often, then they're going to do it. Mm -hmm. That makes them better. Well, if we move efficiently and our organs work better, then we just automatically are more healthy. Right. Yeah. And what a great quality of life to know that even no matter how old you are or how young you are, that you can go ahead and improve your muscles to their fullest capacity. Not you know, just muscles, Tina. Yes. Improve all of your physiology to a level. Um, at ARP, we believe everybody should live to 120. Okay. And not just live to be 120, mm -hmm. but do the things they enjoy doing. Without pain. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Pain-free, high quality, high level. I mean, just simply being able to go out and, and play catch or ride a bicycle sometimes is all people really want to do. Mm -hmm. Others, they may want to golf you know, uh, five sessions in a day because it stays <laughs> light for so long here this time of year, mm -hmm. you know. But quality of life is really what's important. Right. So we can live to 120, but if we can't do what we want, mm -hmm. it's not really a lot of fun. Right. And for those who enjoy sports, even to be able to do it at 60, 70 years old instead of feeling as if now they can have to kind of shut down. Well, how about just simply thinking more clearly? Mm. Being able to use your brain mm -hmm. to create things in your mind. I mean, to dream. Dream is like free movies, you know? <laughs> yes. And sometimes we lose that ability mm -hmm. simply because we age beyond our years. Mm -hmm. And if we can move appropriately and we can move without pain, well, then that part of our life, the quality increases there. And we can affect every part of life just by moving well. Yes, sounds good. It's exciting. Yes, very. Yeah. Now, I, I know that you have been able to experience this on a day-to-day -day basis. But for my viewers that have not had this opportunity, I'd really like for you to shout out to them a little bit of, of how you can give them back a quality of life. Well, what we can do is we can bring to the forefront the areas that are not allowing your body to function appropriately. Mm -hmm. Through the search and destroy process, it mm -hmm. sounds menacing, doesn't it? <laughs> it's kind of exciting. Mm -hmm. Cellular disruption location. We find out why your body is not able to respond the way it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. And then we allow it to do that. Okay. Once we allow it to do that, then you get to actually see me and do the things necessary to support that. Sure. You see, it's all inside us. Mm -hmm. We just don't know the commands. Yes. So we're just going to input some commands once the brain can understand it again. Mm -hmm. And then you go on and you do whatever you want. Wow. It's really fun. Yes. Yeah. It's exciting wow. and fun. Mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. the concept. Yeah. That sounds great. All righty. Well, I just want to let you know that... Um, and let my viewers know that we've run out of time. So I want to thank you, Jay. Appreciate it, Tina. Always a pleasure. Anthony, thank, thank you. Thank you, Tina. And of course, Alexander. Thank, thank you. Please be sure to tune in again for other shows of Knowledge for Wellness to enhance your overall understanding. And visit my website at www.knowledgeforwellness.com. And I hope we have provided you with more knowledge to benefit you and your loved ones. So until next time, be well and goodbye. Thanks again, Jay. Over time you've healed so much in me And I am living proof That although my darkest hour had come Your light could still shine through And at times it's just enough to cast the shadow on the wall 
Though I am grateful that you shine your light on me at all. Who am I that you would love me so gently? Who am I that you would recognize my name, Lord? Who am I that you would speak to me so softly? I'm Jay Schroeder, and I'd like to take a few minutes to introduce you to this exercise movement plan, rehabilitative strength. In reality, there's no difference between it and going to the weight room or going wherever, okay? And lifting weights or doing whatever you think you need to do. But there are a few basics that people miss when they go somewhere. So with the ARP Wave Neurological Therapy Program, we're including this to give everyone the opportunity to do whatever it is that you can't do any longer because you've been told you can't do it or you just feel like you can't do it. Well, I'm 70 and it's been going on for all these years or I'm 15 and I'm not supposed to have an ACL injury at this time. I should be doing this. Well, this is an opportunity to get you back to a point where things can happen the way they're designed. We're gonna to attempt to send information to your brain in the same manner that it's sent when you're a newborn. Let's think about something for a moment that's real, and we've all gone through this, and most of us have seen someone. When you were a mom and a dad, and you brought little baby Johnny or Jane home from the hospital, and you placed them in their crib, and they were lying there, and you were staring at them because everything was fine and wonderful, you didn't really realize what was going to happen in another 15 years, <laughs> okay? All of a sudden, one day, they were raising their head, and then... Another day, they raise their head and they turn their head. Let me ask you, did you teach them how to raise their head? Did you teach them how to raise their head and turn their head? No. You see, the simple act of lying in the crib and gravity pulling upon their head caused certain things to happen. We're born with reflex patterns and reflex arcs that are in all of us. We are all supposed to move exactly the same. It doesn't matter if I'm 5'10", and in the video you're going to see Z. Z is six foot tall, and her arms are three inches longer than mine. You're going to see Anthony, who is a little shorter than I am, and his arms are shorter. But you see, we're all supposed to move exactly the same way. We get into trouble, we run into problems when we think, I have to move this way because I'm this. I have to move this way because I'm that. But again, we all learned exactly the same way. We were lying in that crib, and all of a sudden, one day, we raised our head. Then we raised our head, and we turned it. Then we raised our head, we turned it, and we started to push the crib away. Next thing you know, well, then the trouble begins. We're standing up alongside of the crib, and we're looking to jump out. We don't know any better yet. Hey, but all those things happen without being taught, without having to go to a weight room. Because why? It's all simply about sending, receiving, interpreting, and getting information back to the muscles that are supposed to be stimulated to be used. There's a very specific order. Okay? There is a very specific rhythm and harmony they all work within. There is no such thing as core, and we split into upper torso and lower torso, and push and pull. You know what? We're, look at us. We're, we all have back problems, knee problems, hip problems. Well, here's an opportunity within this program to get yourself regulated so that you can do all the things that you can't do now and all the things that you think you may want to do later on. We're going to return you to the same level as if you were a newborn. I mean, our kids, they jump off of swings, off of steps, fall off of things, and there's no groin problems, there's no low back problems, there's no torn ACLs. They don't happen. Why? Because they're always in the right position and their muscles turn on and turn off fast because they don't know any different. Well, because somehow we got smarter than however we were created, we came up with all these different ways of slowing ourselves down, okay? of making it easier on ourselves. It wouldn't take as much energy. So I can you know, stand here and brace. Well, I could stand here all day, but every time I brace, I actually accelerate my death process 
Because when muscles shut down, they don't send information to the brain. If the brain doesn't receive that information, it thinks that area is no longer there. So it doesn't allow us to use it anymore. We want to know why we have back and knee and hip and shoulder and ankle and elbow problems. It's because of us. Okay, this system and what you're watching in this exercise movement plan is very simple. It may not be the movements you see when you go to the gym or, you know, I, I'm 6'4", 275 pound NFL lineman, or I'm a 5' foot tall, 100 pound woman. Okay? It doesn't matter. We all move the same way. We all are looking for the same thing. We want to move efficiently. We want to move at high velocity. And we want to do it injury resistant. And that's what we're going to offer you here. Each of these exercise movements, they allow information to go to your brain that's similar in the effect of when we were lying in the crib when we were a newborn. Now, if you approach this exercise movement plan with that attitude, you can attain anything you want. Anyone at any time can improve because you see, humans are miracles. We just need to allow ourselves to demonstrate those miraculous things. This system, this exercise movement plan is an opportunity to do that. And don't let anyone else tell you you have to do more. You have to add a load. You have to use this. Absolutely not. If you just simply send the information appropriately, how do we do that? By being in the positions we're in. Okay? and then executing in action. The brain will relearn what it, we maybe have thought it's forgotten or that we can never do again. Okay? Another little interesting thing to think about before you begin this exercise movement plan. I had the opportunity to work with Special Olympians. I was a hugger to begin with. My wife was in Special Olympics, so I was there. I'd have to say in the beginning I didn't enjoy it, but all of a sudden, I started to observe and learn. People with prosthetic devices were in the exact same position when they were running, jumping, landing, that supposedly the greatest athletes in the world get to. Yet they have a prosthetic device. There's only one way to move. It doesn't matter if we're seven foot tall or we're three foot tall, if we're 400 pounds or if we're 80 pounds. Our muscles, our energy systems, our nervous systems, Everything is designed exactly the same way and to work the same way. And the same stimulus for me will work for you. The same stimulus each of you do will work for me if it's appropriate. Because we're preparing humans for life. We're not trying to make you stronger, faster, fitter, or whatever the case may be. We're looking to make you fit for life as a human. Thank you for listening to me and enjoy this exercise movement program.